Hello, my name is Brandi Black, and I'm a Customer Experience Manager with Intuit. As many of you know, we are making the transition from our Intuit Online Payroll for Accountants to QuickBooks Online Payroll for Accountants. QuickBooks Online Payroll has a number of new, modern features for accountants and clients, and this is just one of the reasons we are simplifying our product lineup. Now, if you've watched part one of this series created by my colleague, Leif Linden, you've likely already made the transition. So I'm here now to show you how to quickly get started now that your data and your clients are using QuickBooks Online Payroll, as well as walk you through some common questions that we've been hearing about from our accountants and customers just like you. Be sure at the end to check out all the shared links to additional resources and help articles to make QuickBooks work effortlessly for you and your business. To get us started, we will log into QuickBooks at qbo.intuit.com. Take note of this new URL as you will no longer be logging into Intuit Online Payroll under iop.intuit.com. If you are an accountant who already uses QuickBooks Online for Accountants before this transition, you may have noticed that you now have two QuickBooks Online for Accountant firms listed on your company selection screen, just like I do here. To avoid any confusion, you will want to be sure to note which one has your standalone payroll clients attached to it versus your original QuickBooks Online for Accountant firm. Most of our customers have decided to edit the name of their new QuickBooks Online Accountant firm to include the word payroll to differentiate between the two, just as I have done here. Now, as we get logged into our account, let's walk through how to edit the name of your new firm. We will start by selecting the gear in the top right hand corner. From here, we'll select company settings. And at the top here, select company name. Make the edits as necessary. And select save. Once completed, select done in the bottom right hand corner. Now that we've indicated which QuickBooks Online firm as our standalone payroll clients, let's talk about one of the most common questions that our customers ask when they first transition to QuickBooks Online for accountants, which is, where are my clients? When you first log in, you'll notice that we've landed on the Clients tab. Here, you'll notice a full list of your clients listed uh, for bookkeeping and payroll. If you're wondering where some of your clients may have gone, you're able to select the gear icon located just above this list here and select the option to include inactive clients. Now take note, marking a client inactive simply hides them from your list and does not cancel their subscription. However, if you have canceled a client subscription, we will automatically move that client to the inactive clients list for you. To manage the subscription and billing associated with your firm as well as your clients, we will navigate back up to the gear in the top right hand corner and under your company select subscriptions and billing. Here you will be able to do things such as transfer billing over to your clients or manage your billing details such as updating your credit card and your payment methods. Now one last thing to note here on your client list is that in order to navigate into one of your clients, you will want to select the QB icon located next to the client name. So let's click in. And we will land here on your client's payroll account. If we need to navigate back to our firm, we will select the drop down here located at the top of the screen and select back to practice. Now that we know where to find our clients and how to access their accounts, let's focus on your firm for a moment. If you're an accountant that ran payroll for your firm in your Intuit Online Payroll for Accountants, you will now be running payroll within this QuickBooks Online Accountants firm. Here on the left nav bar, you will notice the payroll option. This is where you will access your firm's payroll. With QuickBooks Online Payroll for Accountants, you receive a free Elite Payroll subscription, so be sure to take advantage of all of the features and benefits that Elite Payroll offers. Let's run a quick payroll for our firm. We'll select Run Payroll. 
type in our hours, and select Preview Payroll. We'll check out the details here. And if we're looking to take a deeper dive into the payroll details, we'll select Preview Payroll Details at the bottom. This will give us our breakdown of any compensations or any other additional deductions that we may have on our employees' payroll. Everything looks good, so let's go ahead and submit. Here on the finished payroll screen, you will see the option to export transactions listed here at the bottom of your screen. You can choose to export your payroll data after running payroll, or you can wait and run it at the time of your choice. So let's go ahead and finish our payroll. We'll run it later. After time has passed, I've decided now to export my transactions. So from here, I'll go ahead and select the gear option up in the top right hand corner. And from here, I'll select payroll settings. I'll scroll down a smidge and under our accounting option, I can now select export transactions. Notice I've already set up my exporting to go to QuickBooks desktop for Windows. I'll select export transactions. It'll notify me of the transactions that'll be exported and I'll select the export option. This will create an IIF file for me to import into my QuickBooks desktop file. Now once completed, I'll navigate back to my firm. One thing to notate is that every time that you wish to export your payroll data, you will need to navigate to the gear and select payroll settings and select the export option. Now let's take a look at how we'll export for our clients. So let's go back to clients, click into Harry's, and of course, after running payroll for your client, you will be presented with the same export transactions options as you were with your firm. However, if you wish to export your client's payroll data at a later time, you will have the option to use the export shortcut listed here on the overview screen. You do not have to navigate to payroll settings each time as you would with your firm once your export settings are set up. So we'll select export for our client. We'll select what we wish to export and we'll select the export option. We've now had our transactions exported. Now I'd like to take a moment to go back to our payroll settings. So let's select the gear and we'll select payroll settings. This is the equivalent to what is previously known as the setup tab in Intuit Online Payroll. Here you will be able to manage things like your bank account details used for direct deposit and tax payments, your federal and state tax details such as EIN, tax rates, and the ability to even decide who pays and files your taxes, whether you want to do it yourself or you'd rather QuickBooks to do it for you. To take a deeper look into the payroll settings, check out the video that we've supplied in our links of resources. Now, last but not least, I'd like to walk you through how to get help since it's a little bit different in your QuickBooks online payroll for accountants, as well as in your clients accounts than it is in Intuit online payroll. Here in the top right hand corner, you'll notice a help option. This is the same in your firm. You'll select this here and you have the ability now to search for any of our help resources that we have available for you. You also have the ability to filter any of these options that you'd like to search for particular topics. So here we're going to look up payroll tax. So I have some questions about it. Now notice I can actually click right in and it'll navigate me straight to the taxes of my payroll account, or I can check out a couple of the articles that are available to me. Now, if some of these don't work out and I still need further assistance, I can select the back option and navigate down here to contact us. Since I've already typed in what I'm looking for, I'm now provided with a few different ways to connect with support, such as a chat, I can schedule a call me back, or I can go ahead and direct dial in to the support. Thank you so much for watching. 
I hope this video has given you a little bit more insight into getting started quickly now that you've transitioned into QuickBooks Online for Accountants. Please be sure to check out our help articles for more details and questions on getting started. And as a reminder, you can always access QuickBooks support by going to your support center here inside the product.